Hello and welcome to another reading from the book In Heavenly Places, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled The Royal Path, May 15th. Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. Psalm 73 verse 25 the soul that cherishes the love of Christ is full of freedom, light, and joy in Christ. In such a soul there are no divided thoughts. The whole man yearns after God. He goes not to men for counsel to know what is duty, but to the Lord Jesus, the source of all wisdom. He searches the word of God that he may find out what standard has been set up. Can we ever find a surer guide than the Lord Jesus? True religion is embodied in the word of God and consists in being under the guidance of the Holy One in thought, word, and deed. He who is the way, the truth, and the life takes the humble, earnest, whole-hearted seeker and says, Follow me. He leads him in the narrow way to holiness and heaven. Christ has opened this way for us at great cost to himself. We are not left to stumble our way along in darkness. Jesus is at our right hand proclaiming, I am the way. And all who decide to follow the Lord fully will be led in the royal path, yea, more, the divine path, cast up for the ransomed of the Lord to walk in. The more fully we are in service to him, the more we shall love him, the more we shall magnify him. Every duty, large or small, that we perform will be done with faithfulness, and as we follow on to know the Lord, the greater will be our desire to glorify him. We are individually now testifying to the world of the power of the grace of Christ in the transformation of human character from glory to glory and from character to character. In beholding Christ, our pattern, who is pure and holy and undefiled, we are being prepared for the society of the heavenly angels. If Christ is to be our head and prince in the heavenly courts, it becomes us to inquire, what is Christ to us now? Can we say, as we contemplate our Redeemer, whom have I in heaven but thee? and there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book In Heavenly Places. God bless you.